hello again and welcome to this week's time of worship with Abertillery Salvation Army. It's good to have you with us. It's good to join together uh, in, in the Lord's worship again another Sunday. Um, still not getting into the hall and meeting in person, but grateful for the fact that there are other avenues for ministry that we can use each week. We're very grateful to Vic Meredith from the Gwent Hills and Vales Methodist Circuit, who has very kindly prepared a very thoughtful message for us this week. And we look forward to hearing that a little bit later in our meeting. We're going to start on a very upbeat note with um, a piece of music called um, Jubilo Jubilo, which is performed by the Territorial Youth Band from 2013, so seven years ago. Um, but this is, a, 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 like I said, a very upbeat piece of music to um, bring us into a sense of praising God today um, and, and also marvelling in the skills of the young people who are part of that band. We're then going to sing together the hymn, O oh, Worship the King, All Glorious Above. And then we're listening to Birmingham Citadel songsters singing Wherever You Are. We'll then hear the message from Vic and then join in a final song together, Will Your Anchor Hold? And then I'd like to invite you to read with me this week's benediction as we close our time of worship together. So I hope that as we, we move through this online service that you will find a means of blessing in the things that, that you listen to, the music, or um, as well Vic's message that we are waiting in anticipation to hear. So thank you again for, for joining with us. God bless.
foreseen what COVID-19 had in store for us in 2020 and we don't know how or when it's all going to end. If we're honest I think most of us will admit that we are scared and worried at what is going on and what we are experiencing. While these are difficult times our gospel story for today reminds us that Jesus is able to calm the most violent storms that we may face in life. Our reading today is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. And in my Bible, the heading is, Jesus calms the storm. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with them. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. In that passage, the disciples wake Jesus up from his sleep and say to him, Teacher, don't you care 
if we drown? Is it any wonder that they woke Jesus? Some of the disciples were experienced fishermen who were accustomed to the storms on the Sea of Galilee. This was something different, however. They panicked because this storm threatened to destroy them all and Jesus seemed unaware and unconcerned. What about us and COVID-19? Perhaps we feel a bit like those disciples. Do you want to say, Lord, don't you care that the world is being infected by a virus that we can't see, touch or control? Don't you see that our children have to stay at home now or are being sent home from college? That our upcoming travels and events have been cancelled and people we know have died or are ill in hospital? Don't you care? Life is unpredictable and at times things happen to us without any warning. Think about the disciples. When they left the shore that evening, everything was fine. Then the great windstorm came. It caught them off guard and it didn't take long for the boat to be swamped. They did not see it coming. The disciples are worried and Jesus is asleep. What really shook up the disciples is what happened after they woke Jesus. They said, Teacher, doesn't it matter to you that we're all going to drown? Don't you care about us? And Jesus spoke just a few words to the sea. Quiet, be still, and the wind and the waves calmed down. The disciples, however, were terrified, not with the same kind of reaction they had in the middle of the storm, but with a terror in the face of the unknown. Today, the words that Jesus addressed to the storm can just as well be addressed to you and me. Quiet or peace, be still. In these unpredictable days, living through the coronavirus pandemic, it may be our time to carve out periods of peace and stillness in order to hear the voice of God, our Father. A time to reset our life priorities as we navigate through life's stormy sea. A time to check our bearings, to make sure that we are living our lives in the resurrection, in the hope and joy in which God created us to live. Many of us may, may be caught in a storm from which there seems to be no answer and the disciples' question becomes real and relevant. God, don't you care about me? This gospel story reminds us that we often are crossing rough and windy waters. Today, the rough and windy times are COVID-19 and its impact on our lives, with holidays being cancelled, with weddings, honeymoons, baptisms and funerals being postponed, with our meetings and church services being viewed on live streaming or on YouTube, with jobs on furlough or lost, with families and loved ones separated, and with people we know who are sick or who have died. There is fear and anxiety about the unknown. Looking back on our lives, things appear to have been peaceful and content, whereas now we are living in the time of a pandemic and the unknown about the days and months ahead. So where does this leave us? Mark's Gospel message is intended to reassure us of the risen Jesus, constant present in the storms of life that we struggle through. Maybe we tend to focus on those storms battering us rather than focusing on Jesus who is our life riding the rough water with us. On Easter Sunday once again we listen to the good news about Jesus' empty tomb. All of our fears may prevent us from realising the meaning of the resurrection in our own lives. Our faith and confidence may be challenged about the transformational power of experiencing 
the resurrection. The coronavirus could be an opportunity to renew our faith and to more fully be with Jesus when facing life's storms. The wisdom and grace of Jesus is presented to us throughout this passage in our life. Present to calm the fear and anxieties that may consume us with worry and doubt. Be quiet. Those moments of peaceful stillness helps us to regain control of our lives and realise that God is the giver of life, the God of love, the Father of all that is good. Because we believe in God, we strive to hold on to our faith in the middle of doubt and unknown. We can see ourselves in Mark's story, a story that calls us to hold on to our faith in our Creator. There will always be mysteries of religion that baffle us, and there always will be problems that we encounter in life that will make us doubt what once we believed. This is okay. When we are questioning and struggling with God, we are experiencing our faith in action. Doubt is an essential ingredient of faith. It is a healthy sign that we are taking our relationship with God seriously, allowing ourselves to be honest, allowing doubt to propel us to a richer and more robust faith, knowing Jesus always is at our side. Faith reaches its height in the middle of doubt and the unknown. Our faith requires trust, openness to mystery and a willingness to doubt our to doubt our doubts. Our faith continuously seeks understanding and our understanding continuously seeks faith. For each of us today, faith comes through hearing the word of God as revealed in the life and teaching of Jesus and assured in the mystery of the resurrection. This good news is told every time the gospel is proclaimed, every time Holy Communion is celebrated every time we experience God's divine mercy in reconciliation. We share the good news every time, as Christians, we live our lives in service to others. Our faith identity is centred in the memory of Jesus. In these challenging days, even with social isolation and quarantines, it is here in our local communities that our faith will continue to blossom in word and sacraments, celebrating the living presence of Jesus, who saves us in the love of God, in his passion, death and resurrection. And it is here in our faith community, we and others realise the peace of God when we are reaching out, lifting up and supporting one another on the phone, in letter writing, using FaceTime or Zoom during our days of quarantine and social isolation. Today, we are invited to recall that Easter night when the risen Jesus appears to the terrified disciples and breathes his spirit of peace upon them. Jesus is here with you and me as we live our lives day by day. We have every reason to be people of hope, and to be clear signs of hope to others in our lives during these challenging times. Why are you so terrified? Are you lacking in faith? These are the words that Jesus said to his disciples in Mark's Gospel story. These are the words Jesus is speaking to his disciples today, to you and to me. Amen.
May the beauty of God be reflected in your eyes, the love of God be reflected in your hands, the wisdom of God be reflected in your words, and the knowledge of God flow from your heart that all might see, and seeing, believe. Amen. <laughs>